Hello everyone, Professor Vaibhav Shah here. Hope you have gone through my previous lecture, lecture 1, Introduction for Engineering Cows. If not, then I insist you to go check that lecture first. It is covering all the basic contents like what are engineering cows and its applications, understanding of conics with pictorial representation, classification of engineering cows, understanding of various engineering cows and its definitions and nomenclatures that we'll be using in our subsequent lectures. In today's lecture 4, we'll be learning how to draw an ellipse by a parallelogram method. If you like my content and teaching style, then share it with your friends and do not forget to like and subscribe to show your love and support. Let us begin. So now we'll start from one of the examples. Problem one, draw ellipse by parallelogram method. Draw a parallelogram of 100 mm by 70 mm long sides with included angle 75 degree. Inscribe ellipse in it. So in this case, we have to draw one parallelogram and as it is said, you have to inscribe, that means you have to draw ellipse inside that parallelogram. So the steps are similar to the previous case, rectangle method or oblong method, only in place of rectangle here, it is a change of parallelogram. So if you have not referred my previous lecture, lecture three on rectangle or oblong method, so I will just suggest you go through that lecture first so that you can know the procedure of how to draw an ellipse by rectangle method because we are directly going to apply that logic of rectangle method into this parallelogram method. So first, our first step would be, we'll be drawing one parallelogram of 100 mm by 70 mm long. Mind that these 100 mm and these 70 mm are not your major axis and minor axis in this case of parallelogram method. These are just only the dimension of your parallelogram inside which you have to draw an ellipse. So these are not your major axis and minor axis, remember that. So we'll be just drawing one parallelogram of 100 mm by 70 mm long side. So let us construct one parallelogram of 100 mm by 70 mm long side. So 100 mm is obviously your length. So you will be drawing your line, horizontal line of your 100 mm. And at 75 degree from this line, horizontal line, you will be plotting one another line of 70 mm long is your inclined line to your horizontal line at 75 degree. And after that, you will be just completing this figure so this is nothing but your parallelogram parallelogram means in this parallelogram you will be having two parallel sides like this this horizontal side is parallel to this top horizontal side and likewise this left hand side inclined side is parallel to this line so this that means that you will be having two pairs of your parallel side and this element is known as your parallelogram which is not your rectangle so now after that we will be finding out its midpoint of this each of the sides. So locate the midpoint of the each of the sides and draw one line. So we will be drawing one horizontal line which is specifying you one line and this is your point DP. Once again this horizontal line is not your major axis. This is your horizontal line specifying only A and B point. This is not your major axis. Now we will be drawing one vertical line from this midpoint of this horizontal line here and here so you'll be drawing one vertical line so what we have done is we have just found out the vertical lines midpoint here somewhere a point we have found out one another midpoint here somewhere here we'll call it as b point after that you will be finding out the horizontal lines midpoint which must be your point d and once again you will be finding out these horizontal points midpoint which must be your point c after that we'll be drawing this point once again this a b and c d are not showing you the major axis and minor axis of an ellipse. These are just two lines, horizontal and inclined line. Once again, this line must be your 75 degree inclined to your horizontal line. And if you have drawn the correct figure and this would be your answer. So now after that, we'll be once again dividing this horizontal portion into some suitable number of equal parts, let's say four, five or six. And if you are dividing this horizontal line into four, five or six parts, then you must divide the same number of equal parts to your vertical line here. So let us start dividing this line. We'll be dividing this vertical line somewhere here into four number of equal parts. So we have divided this 
incline vertical line into four number equal parts that means that you must divide this horizontal portion of this line into four number of equal parts only both parts numbering would be same here if you are dividing four parts then you will divide this line into four parts only so let us divide this horizontal line into four parts so we'll be dividing this horizontal line into four parts we'll be starting numbering from obviously from here zero one two three four let us start numbering once again from zero one two three four after that as we know from your rectangle method we'll be drawing lines from your one two three connecting your d points let us draw lines starting from your one point one two d two two d three two d after that we'll be drawing lines starting from your c point passing from your three point touching your three line one more line starting from your c point passing from your two point touching your two line one more line starting from a c point passing from a one point touching your one line so let us start we'll start from one point first so start your line from c one one then starting from c two touching two line then this line after this we'll identify the point of intersection let us identify this point so this is nothing but your first starting point of ellipse which is from where your ellipse will start but once again this is not your point on the major axis this is not your major axis now we'll be finding out one other point another point and another point and another point now then after we'll be plotting same procedure on the right hand side so let us divide this portion into four number of equal parts why four parts because in this diagram we have divided this both portion into four part then it must be same for this portion also so we'll be dividing this into four parts similarly you have just divide this horizontal line also into four parts we have divided this horizontal line also into four parts let us give numbering starting from 0 1 2 3 4 starting from 0 1 2 3 4 after that we'll be drawing lines from 1 2 3 connecting d so let us draw lines from 3 to d 2 to d 1 to d after that let us draw lines from c point passing from your 1 2 3 and touching your 1 2 3 line respectively so let us draw lines starting from your c 1 1 C two 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 C passing from a three connecting three. After that, identify your point of intersection. So we'll identify this point of intersection. So we have identified this point of intersection. So if you try to join this point of intersection by a smooth curve, then you will be having the ellipse. Now after that, if you want to draw ellipse in these two rectangles, so we must have one shortcut method because if you have tried in rectangle method, try to repeat these steps in third and fourth rectangle, it is taking too much of time. So let me teach you one shortcut method or one fastest method. So what we'll do is we'll be using our mirror line concept in which we'll be drawing vertical lines, uh, inclined lines parallel to this line. So you have to just put your roller scale or drafter onto this edge and you will draw lines passing through your first point here, passing through a second point here, passing through a third point here. Once again, you will be putting your roller scale or drafter on this edge which is 75 degree inclined line and you will just slide your drafter or roller scale onto your first intersection point and you will draw one line you will draw another line and you have to draw one more line after that take your rounder put your rounder somewhere on this axis a b axis take the dimension of this point till this point and after setting this dimension of your axis point till your point of intersection number one point put your rounder once again here and try to cut this vertical line incline line somewhere here so you will be having one point once again put your rounder here take the dimension of this incline line of your second intersection point this take on your rounder this distance put your rounder somewhere here and on this incline line try to cut this incline line downward somewhere here so you will be having one more point once again you will put your rounder somewhere here and take the distance of your third intersection point and try to take this dimension on your rounder put your rounder once again here on this point and try to cut this line at this intersection point after that we'll be following same procedure for this case so put your rounder somewhere here on this axis ab take the dimension of this axis till your third intersection point this point and after setting this point dimension on your rounder put your rounder once again on this point and try to cut this line somewhere here down here so you'll be having this point after that let us take the dimension of this point till your 
second intersection point and after taking this dimension put your rounder once again here and try to cut this line somewhere here similarly let us put your rounder once again on your ab axis try to take the dimension of your axis till your first intersection point and after setting this dimension on your rounder put your rounder once again on this axis point on this intersection of line and try to cut this line bottom here remember here that it is not compulsory that your line must pass from your one to three point it doesn't matter you have to just simply draw a line parallel to this inclined line of 75 degree from your first intersection point second intersection point third intersection point parallel to this line you will be drawing these lines and from each of the points and you are just taking the dimension of your center of your axis till your first intersection point and same dimension you are plotting down here and this is your mirror method after drawing this method you will be having all intersection points in your third rectangle as well as fourth rectangle so next step is nothing but you have to connect these points by a dark smooth line so let us join these points by a dark smooth line here example is four so try to pause this example for a while adjust your logic in your mind and let us proceed forward example number 2 problem 2 two points a and b are 100 mm apart the point c is 75 mm from a and 60 mm from b draw an ellipse passing through three points a b and c so this is a different example than previous one here it is said that your major axis points are given 100 mm apart and you are given one third point c which is 75 mm away from your a and 60 mm away from your b and it is said that you must draw ellipse passing through all of these three points a b and c so how to start this example this is a different and i would say this is a important example for exam point of view so let us start with the first two points a and b 100 mm apart so we'll be drawing one horizontal line which is your 100 mm apart so we'll be drawing horizontal line of 100 mm and write down it as a and b after that let us plot this point c by this given distance which is 75 mm away from your point a so let us adjust 75 mm first on your rounder now you adjusted 75 mm okay so let us start the procedure so put your rounder on point a now and try to draw one random arc somewhere here which is 75 mm away from your point a so we have drawn one arc of 75 mm from your point a somewhere here on which we will be getting point c later on now after that it says that 60 mm away from your point b so your point c is 60 mm away from your point b so now let us adjust your rounder to 60 mm now and we'll be putting your rounder at point b because your point is away from your b so we'll be putting your 60 mm measurement starting from your point b so put your rounder at point b and try to draw one more arc cutting the previous arc somewhere here 60 mm away from your point b you will be having point c somewhere here after having your point c now which is your point third point so we are having three points a b and c now after having your point c next task is to draw a parallelogram so how to draw a parallelogram what is the procedure so next step you will be adjusting your roller scale or your drafter edge on your ab side which is 100 mm which we have drawn previously now after adjusting your roller or drafter to this horizontal line you will just slide your drafter or roller scale until you reach your point c after you reaching your point c you have to just draw one horizontal line so let's draw one horizontal line and specify this horizontal line as your pq now after that what we'll do is we'll change the drafter roller scale orientation to now your this axis which is your now we are getting this point c on this line so now after getting this point c let us find out the midpoint of this line first which is your point a after that let us connect this midpoint o with your point c so you will be getting one line which is nothing but your half the minor axis after getting this line oc you will now adjust your roller scale or drafter to your oc line and will be drawing line parallel to this oc line from your point a and 
it will give you on this vertical line and which will intersect your originally drawn horizontal line somewhere here at point p so this will be your point p after getting your point p you will be having one line ap so take the dimension of your ap and extend it on to another direction of your point a you will be having point s after getting point p and s you will just simply take the dimension of p and s on your roller scale or drafter try to slide the line on to the right hand side of your point b and try to draw the similar length of this line so you will be having this intersection of horizontal line somewhere here so you will be having this point q and point r so try to complete your parallelogram so once again what we'll do is well we'll first draw one horizontal line of 100 mm and we'll specify points a and b after that here it is said that point c is 75 mm from your point a and 60 from your point b so first we'll adjust 75 mm on your rounder we'll put rounder somewhere here and we'll try to make one arc of 75 mm which is showing 75 mm away distance from your point a here after that we'll be taking 60 mm on a rounder we'll be putting our rounder at point b and we'll be cutting this previously drawn arc somewhere here we'll be having this point c after that you will find out the midpoint of this line which is nothing but your point o here and after that point o let us connect your point o with your point c and after that you will be putting your drafter or roller scale edge on this line and try to slide this drafter or roller scale until you reach your point a after that you will be having one line which will be intersecting your already drawn horizontal line at point p so give this point as p after you are having this a and p let us take this dimension and extend it backwards so you will be having somewhere here point s after getting this point s you are having this p to s dimension so let us draw this line parallel line to this line from your point b so you will be having point q somewhere here and point r somewhere here after that you draw this horizontal line from this and this so you can complete your parallelogram after completing your parallelogram we will be following the previous method which we have used in problem number 1 so let us divide this horizontal portion into some suitable number of equal parts so we have divided this horizontal portion into let's say five number of equal parts then it suggests that you must divide this vertical portion into also into five number of equal parts after division we will be giving numbering from this point 0 1 2 3 4 and five point would be point o itself we will be starting from 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 point would be this point p itself after that you will be drawing lines from your 1 2 3 4 point connecting your point c so 1 to c 2 to c 3 to c and 4 to c after that we'll be drawing line starting from your d passing from your point 4 connecting your four line starting from your d passing from your three connecting your three line starting from your d passing from your two connecting your two line starting from your d passing from your one connecting your one line after that you will be having this points of intersection you have to repeat this procedure for this rectangle after repeating this procedure you will be having half curve like this ellipse after that you can either use a shortcut method to draw ellipse in this three or third or fourth rectangle or you can repeat the procedure for third and fourth rectangle so you will be having your final ellipse now once again this a b and c d here are not specifying you major axis and minor axis of an ellipse how to find the major axis and minor axis we'll learn in subsequent example so let us move to one more example problem number 3 construct an ellipse enclosed in a parallelogram of 120 mm and 80 mm having conjugate angle of 120 degree use the parallelogram method to develop ellipse and find its major and minor axis so as you can see we are finding out major axis and minor axis in this example So let us start like previous example we have given one major axis minor axis at 120 degree so first of all we will be drawing one horizontal line of 120 degree sorry it is not a major axis minor axis it is just a line of parallelogram dimension are given 120 and 80 mm these are not once again major and minor axis so let us draw one horizontal line of 120 mm and specify it as a and b let us find out its midpoint as point o or point 0 and we'll be drawing one line of 80 mm which will be at 
degree to your horizontal line. So this is your horizontal line. We'll be drawing this line at 120 degree because our conjugate angle is given as 120 degree in this case. So we have drawn 120 mm horizontal line and from that midpoint, we'll be drawing one line of 80 mm at 120 degree. So this will be your 40 mm above this line and this will be your 40 mm below this line. After drawing these lines, you will be just finishing out your parallelogram. So what will you do is, you will just draw parallel lines through your minor axis. So this will be your line EH. On this side, you will draw similar parallel line to this minor, uh, this CD on the right hand side. So this will be your FG. You will be drawing parallel line to this AB. This downward side, you will be having this EF and you will be drawing this parallel line upward side so you will be having eg and how you will draw the parallel lines you will be either using your ruler scale or your draft range after getting your parallelogram you'll be just doing the same procedure you will be dividing this horizontal portion into some suitable number of equal parts either four five or six so let us divide this suitable number of equal parts in this case five parts if you are dividing this horizontal line into five parts then it must be compulsory that you must divide this vertical portion into five parts. So let us give numbering 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 point would be point O itself. We will be starting from 0, 0, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash and fifth point would be point H itself. After that we will be drawing lines from your 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash point connecting your D. So let us draw lines 1 dash to D, 2 dash to D, 3 dash to D, 4 dash to D. After that we will start lines from point C passing from your 4, connecting your 4 line, starting from your C, passing from your 3, connecting your 3 line, starting from your C, passing from your 2, connecting your 2 dash line, starting from your C, passing from your 1, connecting your 1 dash line. So you have to repeat the procedure for all the 3 remaining rectangles here, remaining parallelograms and you can have the ellipse like previously we have drawn. But now in this case we are more interested in finding out the major axis and minor axis. So let us see the procedure how to find out the major axis and minor axis of an ellipse. So now let us start the procedure. So first of all, what will you do? So now in this case, we'll take O as a center. So you have to take O as a center and you'll be taking O to D as a radius. You will take O as a center on your rounder. You will take the radius is equal to O to D and you have to cut, draw one semicircle and you will cut this ellipse somewhere here and let's say this point as K. So once again, you will take this O point as a center, O to D as a radius. You will try to draw one semicircle from your O point and if you draw the semicircle, it will cut your ellipse somewhere here like this and let's say this point as K. Now after getting this point K on your ellipse, try to connect your point K with your point D and you will be having one line as you can see in this figure. After getting this line, you will be plotting line parallel to this line passing from your O point itself. What you will do, you will draw one line parallel to your DK line passing from your O point itself. How we will do this? So you have to put your roller scale or your draft edge onto this line DK and then you have to slide it, this line down until you reach your point O and after you reaching point O you will just draw a line you will be having this line parallel to exactly parallel to this line DK. This is nothing but your minor axis of your ellipse. So let us specify it with your V3 point of your ellipse on the upper side and V4 point of the ellipse on your downward side. So this is nothing but your actual minor axis. After that, we know that minor axis and major axis are mutually perpendicular. So let us draw one line at a 90 degree or mutually perpendicular direction to this line until we reach the ellipse end points here. So on the left hand side, we'll be having this end point as V1 and on the right hand side, we'll be having this end point as V2. So this V1 and V2 line is nothing but your actual major axis. So once again, I am repeating the procedure for finding out the major axis and minor axis in parallelogram method or ellipse. So what you will do is, you will take O as a center, O to D as your radius. You will try to draw one semicircle by taking OD as a radius. So let us draw, try to draw one semicircle. 
and when you try to draw the semicircle the semicircular line will intersect your ellipse somewhere here so you will be having arc on this ellipse somewhere here so let us say this point as your point k after getting your point k let us connect this point k by straight line to your point d so this is your dk line now next step is you have to draw this line parallel to your dk line passing from your o point which must be your v3 v4 line now after getting this v3 v4 line you will be drawing line perpendicular to v3 v4 because we know that minor axis and major axis are mutually perpendicular so we'll be drawing one perpendicular line we'll be having one end point on this side v1 on the ellipse and one end point on the another side of ellipse which would be v2 so these v3 and v4 and v1 v2 will specify you major axis and minor axis after drawing this you will measure this major axis and minor axis and you will specify in your exam the exact dimension of what the major axis you are getting and what the minor axis you are getting this is a different example i will suggest you practice it by yourself on the blank paper and practice it one or two times so you can master how to find out the major axis and minor axis for this case so now let us move to one more example example number 3 two points a and b are 100 mm apart third point c is 75 mm from a and 50 mm from b draw an ellipse passing through point a b and c so it is similar example what we have seen previously so let us start so here two points a and b are 100 mm apart that means your major axis or your sorry not major axis your horizontal line dimension is given which is 100 mm so let us draw one horizontal line of 100 mm a and b are 100 mm apart now now here it is said that point c is 75 mm from a so that's why we'll be plotting 75 mm from a how to do it so we'll be taking 75 mm on our rounder you will put your rounder at point a and you will try to draw an arc so you will be having 75 mm away arc on which there are chances your point d will come now after that you'll be taking 50 mm from your b so now you have to take 50 mm from your b so now you'll be taking 50 mm on your rounder put your rounder somewhere here and try to draw this rounder somewhere here and you will be having point d so now in this case we'll be having somewhere here point d so now point d and point c are both at the same location so it doesn't matter if you first find out of point d or point c both are the same because it will be same distance from your center in this case we have started from your point d you can always start from this bottom but we have the practice to start from the top so we have started from your point d first after getting this point d now you will find out the center point of your axis ab so find out the center point and after that getting the center point join the line from your center point till your d after getting this line you will just draw parallel lines to this d4 line draw from a so you will be having this line after getting this line you will be having it intersected with this horizontal line so you will be having the end point of your parallelogram here after getting this end point try to measure this distance and try to extend it in another direction you will be having the end point of parallelogram here after getting this complete dimension now you will be drawing line parallel to this complete dimension and you will be completing this parallelogram like this after completing this parallelogram it is simple you will be dividing this portion into suitable number of equal part let's say in this case we are dividing this horizontal line into four number of equal parts so if you are dividing this line into four number of equal parts it is compulsory that you must divide this vertical portion also into same number of equal parts in this case we'll be dividing into four parts let us give numbering 0 1 2 3 4 here 0 1 2 3 4 now after that we'll be drawing from this 1 2 3 line connecting your d points so let us draw line 1 to d 2 to d 3 to d after that we will start drawing line from your point c passing from your three point connecting your three line starting from your c passing from your two point connecting two line starting from your c passing from your one point connecting your one point one line after that you have to just similar you have to follow this course here for these remaining three rectangles and in these two rectangles you can use the shortcut methods which i have shown you previously the mirror line method so you will be get you will be getting your ellipse as your final answer 
and if you want to try out for finding out the major x and minor x in this case so you can also try out the major x and minor x is in this case so this is all from your my, my side do not forget to share it with your friends and like and subscribe to show you your love and support keep learning stay connected and if you have any doubts or queries feel free to comment below bye bye